Hey guys, I'm going to be vlogging while you can watch me paint right in one of these places. I'm not really sure where I'll be, but I'll be around here. And you can watch me paint, or and you can listen to me talk, or you could just watch me talk. It doesn't really matter. I left the, your options open. You can pick whichever one you want to do. So I heard this story, and I'm not sure if it's true, partially true, or what, but I thought it was hysterical, so I'm going to share it with you guys. Hermione Granger, or as her real name, uh, Emma Watson, attends Brown, and I heard that in one of her Brown classes, she answered a question that no one else knew the answer to, and she just raised her hand, answered it, and the teacher was like, correct. And someone in the crowd, in the class, was like, 10 points for Gryffindor. And I thought it was hysterical because, like, you know how in the movies she is, like, the know-it-all. Like, she just knows everything. And apparently she's like that in real life, too. And, like, I think that's so funny. And it's it's just, I love Hermione, like, the character Hermione. And I love that she is somewhat like Hermione, the character that she plays, apparently. I don't know. This could all be a complete lie and a complete rumor, but it was a funny one, so I told you. So, I was like, hmm, I wonder what's going on with Emma Watson. So, I look her up on Twitter, try to find the authorized Twitter, and I find it, and I'm like, Emma Watson has no hair. So, I guess she, she cut it off. Like, she's a an actual like pixie cut now which I, I don't know how many of you guys actually know what a pixie cut is but uh, look up a picture of Emma Watson's haircut and I think she still looks gorgeous but I was wondering what you guys think of like girls with like pixie cuts or really short hair like what do you guys think about it do you do you like girls with picky pick pixie <laughs> pixie cuts or do you like girls with long hair, medium hair? I don't know. You guys let me know. So, I also have a new obsession. I watch Charles Trip. <sighs> okay, I'm having so much trouble recording this because I keep getting tongue-tied when I'm trying to talk. So maybe I'll try to talk slower because maybe I'm just confusing myself when I'm talking. I have no idea. Anyway, so, I have this new addiction and it's watching... C T F X H videos. That's Charles Trippy fan hardcore. Um, basically, it's where Charles Trippy um, uploads videos with his fiance, and he uploads them every day, just like Shay Tarts, and it's just like his daily life. And I don't know why it's so entertaining. Like, I just love watching um, him and his fiance and they're just so cute together like I don't know it's just like the same as Shaytards like I love like whenever a new Shaytards video comes out I just go watch it like that's the first thing I do I just I love Shaytards all the kids are so cute and it's just so entertaining and I find it like so fascinating that they can like they both make money like I don't know how much at all but they make money from doing something they love like who could ask for something more than that I don't know. Do you guys like watching daily vlogs? Like, who's your favorite YouTuber? Let me know. Okay, well, I think I rambled on enough for today, and I am super speeding this painting, so hopefully I'm done painting now. My ring keeps falling off my finger, and I can't make it stay on. I put it on this finger, way too big. Put it on, on my thumb, and it's still too big because it's so freaking cold outside. It just shrinks all of my fingers down to little tiny twig things, and I just can't fit any of my rings on any of my fingers, and it's so frustrating because I always like wearing rings, and I'm <clears throat> so angry.